800-479-0918. Well, welcome back to Lifestyle. Thanks for stopping by during the hustle and bustle of the season. Hey, this is an incredibly personal night for me. I'm so excited you have decided to join me. It's my birthday and I get to talk about Becca Stevens, the uh, Thistle Farms and Magdalene House. It's near and dear to my heart and I get to hang out with my good friend and designer, Becky Charton. I want to talk to her right now. Becky, I'm so glad that you're joining us here on Nashville's Lifestyle. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, I love Nashville. Every time we come, we just we just love this city and love being a part of it. Well, and you certainly have been a part of it because uh, the book that she created, The Window, inspired ideas for framing your view. We're going to show that to you. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, but so many uh, designers here in Nashville and workrooms have used inspiration from this book and she's also been uh, published in numerous other magazines. Becky, I'm so excited for you to talk about your business. Tell me more about your business. What's the name of your business? Sure, it's called Table Setters Inc. and we are a full service design firm. I have a great team of girls that work with me, several artists that come in for different projects and um, we kind of like to do content see our service where we just serve our client our mission is to get to know the people we work for and for when we're done for them to own their project because we love our people more than the lamps I love that. I love that. And you know, what? Is, so the table setters, uh, you know, most people would think when you hear table setters that you're talking about a literal table that you set up. So tell right. me about what, how you came up with that name. Right. Well, we like to say that all people have three careers and luckily I'm on my second. <laughs> but when, I, when we finished our first career and I was leaving, my mentor said, you're like a table setter. You prepare a table so everyone else can feast. And so we've done that through events, but now we do it mainly through design. Design. We set their house so that their friends, their family can feast on great design. Oh, I love that. That is yeah. such a great concept. And I know that you help so many people define their spaces. And this is the book. It's called The Window, Inspired Ideas for Framing Your Views. And this is still available on Amazon tons and tons of ideas throughout this book about window treatments all different types of book uh, throughout this book about how to frame out your windows so mm -hmm. that's still available and tell me a little bit about this the the new color scheme sure we were asked to be a part of this we have several designs in this book that just features color it's all a great resource for using color in your home um, through paint and so, tell me yeah. how what how did you come up with the window inspired? I mean, what what give you, gave you the idea for that book? Well, I was working again. It goes back to people. I was working for the president of the publishing company, and she's like, "Hey, you've already done a bunch of windows. Why don't we take all those, put it in a book, and we can publish it?" And it was a great way for us to bring other designers into my workroom. And I wrote the book. We got to help produce it. Um, but ne Denise is one of the featured designers, so we've got one of your pieces of work in there, and multiple others. It was really a fun project to see everything we've done published in a book and so many people have used it just to be inspired well I love the fact that it's not only you it's not only uh, panels but we have uh, many layers of fabrics that you can use and right. all different types of windows too so if you've yeah. got some of the maybe an arch window or you've got multiple windows you can get some great ideas well Becky we're mm -hmm. going to talk about how you define spaces you're the expert in helping people define their personal spaces really that fits any personality so tell Tell me about the, some of the pictures. We're going to uh, look at some of your work right here. This is Great. so vivid. Tell me about this. Yes, this project, um, this room specifically, just reads lots of color. I had seen these chairs at market and was just waiting for the right project. And this young family wanted something fun. It's a lake house. They had this wonderful wood table. So I was like, I know the perfect thing for your space. We're going to use these seat belt chairs. They're okay, made out so of seat belts. Was, I I was going to ask you, what is this made of? Yes, they're made out of seat belts. They came in multiple colors. And as you'll see in a minute, they were the perfect product to really go with our feature part of the house, which so, is the next photo. So this is actually our art piece. Yes. Tell me about yes. that. This is really what took the whole home in its own direction. Um, you can see we added an orange leather circular sofa and bright colored pillows. But the client said, Becky, I've got these four pieces of art. 
and I want to use them and I was thinking great I love the color I love the concept and this is the thing where we personalize a space when when our clients get excited about something they mm -hmm. say something they own something they've purchased mm -hmm. if you can take that and make it a focal point that that is the ticket to great personalized design. So here, what we did is we took these four canvases, way too small for the space, and we decided, you know what, we're just gonna color outside the lines. We are going to take this art and we're gonna just splash it up on the walls. Okay, so literally what we're seeing is if you look in the center of this mm -hmm. art piece, a focal point on the wall, there are four different pieces of art, but then you have had, you've brought in another painter who has painted this beautiful almost like a mural yes. on the wall yes we took the original art uh -huh. and we just extended it onto the walls made it bigger made it a focal point and I have been fortunate to team up with so many great artists and you'll see that through all these different um, segments that we're going to do here that it's a village it takes a village and, and like uh -huh. your next guest Thistle House it takes so many people to create a great product that's right and that's what's exciting about our work we have these team of people that come in they we have a vision they make it happen and then we create great design that our clients love well, what I love about it too is that our viewers can take away, maybe they can't hire a village, maybe they can't hire a lot of people, but you're giving them great tips in case yes. they have a collection. Let's look right. at this next uh, group of photos. Um, well, this is something very unique. Tell me about this. Sure. This is. I like to say each client I'm working for at the time is one of my favorite clients. So at the time, this was one of my favorite clients. Actually, she's become a good friend. But she has a saying, and she'll text it. She'll write it in a note. She'll tell you when she picks up the phone. And she likes to say, hey, love. So we were out shopping for her personal office. This is a home office, and you can see this, the theme is black and white. Uh -huh. And we found this wonderful mirror from a company in Dallas, Texas, um, called Cantoni. And it's an Italian mirror, and the mirror actually spells the word love. So what we're seeing there, uh, and I don't know if you can tell, but in the background, there is a mirror that spells out the word love. Yes. And then you have then put something on the wall tell me about that yes all we did we hung the mirror and then behind it we had an artist paint and beautiful script the word hey and as you can see the ceiling is the same color as the word so the word just kind of bleeds off to the left wall and to the mm -hmm. ceiling so it looks like a ribbon that's coming to that black wall to spell hey and then our mirror says love so I think that's what one thing that we can uh, have as a takeaway for everyone is you're basically saying that this person this was uh, a saying that she used all the time. You, yeah. That wouldn't be personal to you, perhaps, but you can find right. something that's personal to you. You could put it on the wall, so you can take away some inspiration from that idea. Now, what if you have collections? This next client that she had had collections from for years of being in politics. Tell me about that. Absolutely. This is a, a home farm. It was like a family farm, and two people came together and they both have political backgrounds mm -hmm. so these oil paintings represent a great grandfather that's a judge a senator the um, end tables are old antique ballot boxes oh, I so love that. my clients actual uh, an elected judge and then the other client is a campaign uh, manager so they they do campaigns all over and I found a jar of campaign buttons and I was like Oh, this is great we've got to do something with this so what we did is we were like obviously they're Democrat so we're like a donkey we need a donkey so we took all their buttons and we uh, an artist helped me design the right donkey this is a kicking donkey which is a lot of fun he's happy look Isn't at him adorable? he's kicking so this donkey is literally made up of the badges so this is probably something sitting in a box yes. in the attic so many people have collections like this and then you turn it in to an incredible incredible work of art it's one of a kind yeah and some of those were vintage as well they were they were they came from a great-grandfather from a father and then from my clients 
my client is an elected official and so she had her own buttons and then my other client was a campaign manager so we got to put that very personal collection together and I tell you what it is a focal piece it's something mm -hmm. to talk about and um, we just love it we're so proud of that piece that was I so fun I love it tell me about the application yeah. of it so how sure. did you put it on you put it onto a fabric and then how did you keep it from the wet you know elements right. well this goes back to my village so i had my framer mount um the board cover it with a ralph lauren linen fabric and then our designer laid out all the buttons and attached all of them we took it back we had it covered in an acrylic box to keep it from dust and then we had my installer hang it so there are multiple people multiple people involved mm -hmm. in the project and mm -hmm. I think that's what even if if you're doing something yourself to ask people that know you like what could I do with this get feedback it's always interesting mm -hmm. how the project evolves and, and how it ends up that's so creative Becky yeah. thank you for sharing that and yeah. now we have something that I mean I like the Oceanside colors let's see this beautiful summer home here yes this is a lake house and this room is right off the pool um, as you can see it's a long sectional that we um, created a step up so that there's this big section that faces a big huge TV screen and all the fabrics are done in outdoor fabric so the kids can come right in off the pool so it's it's a weather for uh, all the wet spaces now tell right. me about what what right. these beautiful pieces on the wall sure these are um, they are fish mounted fish and they actually represent the fish that my client catches each year on a fishing trip to the uh, to the Caribbean so um, that was a fun a fun part a uh, piece to personalize but what we really did in this space to personalize it is we wanted to add something organic to the space it was a really um, hard sharp modern space and we're like we mm -hmm. want something organic so we wanted to bring in rope which is very nautical and we found this wonderful image of a linked rope and it was a sketch and we're like we could create that in real life with real right. rope right. so we had an artist and her dad it was fun to see um, that team work together to create this piece to weave it through this custom wooden frame but how we really customized it Denise and this part I love is we used um, marine grade dog tags oh and you can see the dog tags yes. right on the bottom that uh, uh -huh. have some words it looks like right they're hanging from part of the rope and the words represent words that match our family's values and their core and those words are words like loyal link tied so we played off that rope design and used those words which was just That's really very personal. very meaningful well, yeah. well let's also hit a uh, highlight this this is actually it's not painted on tell me how this is applied right this is a tile wall that we added to this space as well the homeowner was like Becky we have got to be able to hang up these towels and let them be wet and not worry about them when we leave the lake and I was like perfect we'll tile this wall and I was like oh we can do something fun with this so my client loves words so we added the words hang up hang out and hang loose so Becky uh, what I love about this is that you actually laid out all of the words that are in white these are mosaic tiles is that correct yes they're one by one glass tiles and um, I will tell you the tile installers were real patient with us <laughs> to get this right we laid it out yes and then I was like guys We'd really like all the grout to match whatever the background is. So all the words are in white grout, and as you can see, we've got four other tile colors. So they really had to do an artistic job on that epoxy grout for us, and we appreciate it. Oh, that is a fantastic <laughs> job. And tell me what's also, we, we saw some things that were hanging from the ceiling there. What are right. we seeing there that's hanging? Well, again, we used rope, and okay. those ropes are anchored to the ceiling, and there's a weight that weights them at the bottom. Them. okay and they're the hooks so when there's not towels there it looks artistic but then you can hang a dozen towels from all the kids and let them dry on that epoxy wall so it won't mildew while you're gone but those are actually hooks that hang from the wall to hold the towels I love that idea yeah. so I mean that is a very creative idea that just think about just tile now I would say that is not a honeydew list <laughs> don't uh, you know create something elaborate like this do hire a professional uh, that can come in and do a grout 
like that. That's unless you really are a great do-it-yourselfer. That is a, a definitely a professional job. But just imagine what you could create out of tiles. You've seen so many great ideas. So personal spaces. Um, just as our viewers are thinking about their own personal spaces, maybe some sure. other tips that you might want to give sure. when you're thinking through how do you want to create your space. Right. Think about things that you have. Mm -hmm. Is it a phrase that you like? Mm -hmm. Is it a collection that you have? Uh -huh. Is it a color scheme? Whatever that is, and to not, what I want to encourage people to do is not be afraid to think outside the box. Uh -huh. Maybe take this idea, talk to other people, get feedback, create synergy, basically, and it mm -hmm. will give you something where you can just go wild and have fun. I love yeah. that. Well, Becky Charton, you can certainly get her book still on Amazon. You can get her book, The Window, and also The Color Schemes. And we'll be putting some information up about her at the end of the show. But you're going to stay tuned because you've heard about training your pets. Well, I'm going to show you how to train your ivy. That's coming up right after the break.